Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss electronic devices and circuits classes wave shaping and switching circuits wave shaping and switching circuits linear wave shaping linear wave shaping the process whereby the form of a non sinusoidal signal is altered by transmission through a linear network is called linear wave shaping the process whereby the form of non sinusoidal signal is altered by transmission through a linear network is called linear wave shaping simple network composed of resistor inductor capacitor are called linear networks the sim the network which composed of rlc are called linear networks here we know that the capacitive reactants x is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc we know that the capacitive reactants x is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc that means uh, this x value that is capacitive reactance this is x value is inversely proportional with the frequency inversely proportional with the frequency that means as frequency is very high the x value will be very low because both are inversely proportional so as frequency is very high the x value will be very low that means at very high frequencies at very high frequencies the capacitor act as a short circuit because at very high frequency the inductive the capacitive reactance will be very low very low means it act as a short circuit very very important question at high frequencies the capacitor act as a short circuit because of the capacitive reactance will be very low very low and we know that the inductive reactance that is xl that is xl that equal to we know that xl equal to omega l omega is nothing but 2 pi f so xl equal to 2 pi fl that means here xl is directly proportional to with respect to the directly proportional to the frequency directly proportional to the frequency that means as frequency is very high as frequency is very high the xl value also very high that means at the high frequencies the inductive reactance value will be very high so that's why the inductor act as a open circuit so the inductor act as a almost open circuit okay once again at very high frequencies the capacitor act as a short circuit because of the capacitive reactance value is very low in the, in the case of uh, this inductor as a uh, frequency is very high it uh, the inductor act as a open circuit because of the inductive reactance will be very high okay and coming to the high pass rc circuit and low pass rc circuit you know very well about this high pass and low pass rc circuits coming to the high pass rc circuit it allows high frequencies and blocks the low frequencies and the high pass rc circuit act as a differentiator when rc is double less than t when rc is double less than t it act as a differentiator and in case of low pass rc circuit it allows only low frequency signals and blocks the high frequency signals and an rc circuit act as an integrator if rc is double greater than the t when it is rc is double less than t high pass rc circuit act as a differentiator when rc is greater than double greater than t uh, this uh, low pass rc circuit act as a integrator integrator okay next one non linear wave shaping non linear wave shaping non linear wave shaping is nothing but clipping and clamping clipping and clamping first of all clipping circuit clipping as name itself the output is clipped off from the input wave form the output is clipped off from the input wave form and the main important question in this clipping circuit is the clipping circuit is also referred as 
voltage or current limiters clipping circuits are also called as voltage or current limiters or amplitude selectors or amplitude selectors and in this clipping circuit the forward bias diode act as a short circuit and the reverse bias diode act as a open circuit the examples for this clippers the series clipper positive clipper and negative clipper this is the symbol of uh, diagram of uh, positive clipper schematic diagram of positive clipper here in this po positive clipper the positive off cycles are clipped off the positive off cycles are clipped off in case of negative clipper the negative off cycles are clipped off negative off cycles are clipped off in case of shunt clippers for this is the shunt positive clipper in this positive off cycles are clipped off it is a shunt negative clipper here negative off cycles are clipped off negative off cycles are clipped off okay And next one clamping circuit clamping circuit a clamping circuit a circuit that places either the positive or negative peak of a signal at a desired DC level is known as clamping circuit <coughs> clamping circuit a circuit that places either the positive or negative peak of a signal at a desired dc level is known as clamping circuit here clampers are clamper is also known as dc inserter or dc restorer very very important clamping circuit is also known as dc inserter or dc restorer and clamping circuit theorem for what is the clamping circuit theorem for any input waveform the ratio of area under the forward direction to the area under reverse direction is equal to the ratio of rf by r ratio of rf by r rf is nothing but forward resistance and capital r is nothing but discharge resistance discharge resistance once again what is clamping circuit theorem for any input waveform, the ratio of area under the forward direction to the ratio of area under the reverse direction is equal to the ratio of forward resistance to the discharge resistance. Forward resistance to the discharge resistance. Okay. Here, clamper is also known as DC inserter or DC restorer. This line is very, very important for any competitive exam. Okay. And next one multi vibrator circuits. Multi vibrator circuits. What is a multi vibrator? An electronic circuit that generates square waves. That generates square waves are non sinusoidal signals, non sinusoidal waveforms such as rectangular sawtooth is also known as multi vibrator. That means uh, uh, multi vibrator is nothing but it is an electronic circuit that generates non sinusoidal signals is known as multi vibrator. It is also a type of relaxation oscillator. We know that relaxation oscillator is nothing but uh, which generates non sinusoidal waveforms. Very, very important. Relaxation oscillator is nothing but which generates non sinusoidal signals. So that's why it is the multi vibrator is also a type of relaxation oscillator. Next one, a stable multi vibrator. A stable multi vibrator. Okay. A stable, as the name itself, a stable. That means it has no stable states. It has no stable states. So it has no stable states and two quasi stable states. Okay. It has no stable states and two quasi stable states. And it is also called as squaring wave generator. It is also called as square wave generator and this stable multi vibrator is also known as free running multi vibrator very very important question the stable multi vibrator is also known as free multi free running multi vibrator 
and coming to the next multi vibrator mono stable multi vibrator as the name itself mono means one that is it has one one stable state it has one stable state and one quasi stable state it has one stable state and one quasi stable state as the name itself mono means one shot so it is also called as one shot or pulse stretcher mono stable multi vibrator is also called as one shot or pulse stretcher and it uh, this uh, mono stable multi vibrator is used as missing pulse detector and this mono stable multi vibrator is also used as missing pulse detector and next one bi stable multi vibrator bi stable multi vibrator as the name itself bi bi means two it has two stable states and zero quasi states it has two stable states and zero quasi states and this bi stable multi vibrator also called as trigger circuit or flip flop or binary very very important question bi stable multi vibrator is also called as trigger circuit or flip flop or binary or binary because flip flop also has two stable states okay that is qn and qn plus 1 and coming to the symmetric triggering symmetric triggering is suited for bi stable multi vibrator and asymmetric triggering is suited for mono stable multi vibrator symmetric triggering is suitable for bi stable multi vibrator and asymmetric triggering is suitable for mono stable multi vibrator okay and once again a stable multi a stable means no stable states that means it has two stable states and this stable multi vibrator is also called as square, square wave generator and it is also known as a uh, free running or uh, free running multi vibrator free running multi vibrator and coming to the mono stable multi vibrator it is uh, as as name itself mono means one one means it has uh, one stable state and one quasi state and it is also called as one shot or pulse stretcher and it is used as a missing pulse detector coming to the bi stable means uh, it has two stable states and zero quasi states and it is also called as trigger circuits flip flop or binary and symmetric triggering is suited for bi stable multi vibrator and asymmetric triggering is suitable for mono stable multi vibrators okay friends thank you in the next video i will discuss remaining uh, topics of electronic devices and circuits okay thank you all the best